Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to be joined by Roy Vineyard, the president and CEO of Asante. Roy, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So let's start with uh, the increase in the numbers of uninsured who will be covered under the Affordable Care Act beginning next year. Any idea what those numbers will look like? Yes, actually, Craig, uh, about 32 million of the now current probably 45 to 50 million uninsured uh, people in the United States will be covered under the Affordable Care Act. About half of them, about 16 million, will be covered through Medicaid expansion, and about 16 million, another half, will be covered through something called health insurance exchanges. In Oregon, we have about 650,000 uninsured Oregonians. Probably up to 200,000 will receive coverage through Medicaid, and then another 250 to 300,000 will come in through the health insurance exchanges. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a large increase in the numbers. Huge. Can, can, uh, can the organizations like yourself, uh, I don't mean to have you speak for everybody, of course, but can, it, can we handle these numbers? Well, it won't be easy. Uh, and first of all, just having enough uh, medical coverage, that is enough uh, physician, nurse practitioners, and others mm -hmm. to uh, care for this uh, increased number of people coming in. That said, many of them do get care now. The, the difference is they get it more catastrophically. That is, since they don't have health insurance, they come into the hospital when something's really wrong with them. But it will be a challenge to be able to provide particularly primary care for that increased number of patients throughout uh, the state of Oregon and, and throughout the country. Now, how will hospitals be compensated as this change goes yeah. about? Well, hospitals in the past, historically, we've been uh, paid fee-for-service, which basically means you provide a service, you get paid a fee for it. Uh, as things move forward, we'll, we'll begin getting paid for some, on value, basically. That is, uh, we'll get paid for the service that we provide, given that the outcomes are good. So they'll be looking at things like, did you do the things that are considered best practices for whatever that problem the patient came in for? Um, what was the outcome of the patient? How did they do? Uh, were they satisfied with their care? And then as we move forward even further, we'll be looking particularly around Medicaid, actually at getting paid a lump sum for all the care that that patient may get. So that is going to force um, hospitals and providers, long-term care providers, uh, rehab facilities to work much more closely together because we'll be sharing one fee basically to cover all the health care needs for that patient. Wow, very exciting time in health care indeed. <laughs> it's a, quite imagine. a challenge, uh, but it's also an exciting time, yes. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. Okay. We'll have much more with Mr. Vineyard in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Roy Vineyard, the president and CEO of Asante. Roy, uh, how will the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act be funded? Yeah, well, uh, some people know this as Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act. The projected cost is about $1.1 trillion over a 10-year period of time. Actually, uh, there's been some recent estimates that says that that is a little bit low. But let's assume $1.1 billion or trillion dollars over 10 mm -hmm. years. About half of it will be funded through cuts to providers like hospitals. For example, hospitals actually have already agreed to $155 billion in cuts over the next 10 years to help pay for this. The other half will be through fees and taxes. So for example, the pharmaceutical industry will have a tax on it. Individuals and businesses who don't provide employer, um, employee uh, health insurance coverage will be taxed and those fees will be used to fund the Affordable Care Act. Okay, all right. Now, uh, what is Asante doing to achieve hospital-physician alignment? Right. Well, a number of things. Um, first of all, we've created an organization that's a physician-led organization called Asante Physician Partners. We now have about 130 physicians, nurse practitioners, and physicians assistants that are part of this. They're part of Asante, but also part of their own organization that is physician-led. The purpose being is to better coordinate the care of the patient so that we have better communication, we're providing care in the most efficient and the least costly setting, and to make sure we're working together, physicians and hospitals, really aligning our incentives to take the best care of that patient for the least cost possible. Okay, and uh, I know I do want to ask you, since we do have you in studio, uh -huh. and it's a very thank you so much for being here. Sure. Uh, Ashland Community Hospital, what is the status of Asante's uh, work with that? We've been working very closely with the hospital board, with, with the city, and with the um, Ashland Community Hospital Foundation. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, things are moving along real well. Our goal is to uh, be able to uh, revive Ashland Community Hospital as a very strong provider of care for their community as they once were. Uh, we're moving along quite well. I would hope that uh, by late spring, early summer, uh, we'll have things completed and wrapped up. Very nice. Roy, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Craig, thank you very much. Our pleasure. Stay with us. We'll be right back.